All right. Lee Hodges, congratulations. 2023 3M Open champion. Thank you. Sounds pretty good. First yeah. victory on the PGA Tour. Um, just express how you feel right now. Elated. Um, it was just a dream week, the whole, the whole thing. I mean, I played, honestly, from Monday to Sunday, I played really good golf, even in practice rounds. The Pro-Am, I made a bunch of birdies, and then I made a bunch of birdies in the tournament without many bogeys. So it was just one of those weeks. It's your 65th start on tour, so you've done it pretty early in your career. Um, you've moved to number 33 in the uh, FedEx Cup rankings, so get yourself secured in the playoffs. Yeah. Um, coming in here at number 74, I think. So yeah. um, that was a goal, obviously, and you've achieved yeah. it. So going forward, what does it look like for you in the next uh, three or four weeks? Just get ready for the playoffs. I mean, I think we're as ready as we can be. I'm playing some really good golf. I'm, I'm excited to have the opportunity to to do some special things in the playoffs now. We've, I mean, anytime you win, you really set yourself up for some, some special stuff. So um, my caddy was telling me on 18, I honestly didn't even think about it. We get to play Augusta next year. That's something else. Uh, that was probably the coolest thing I heard all day. So um, yeah, i just really thankful. Another cool thing is you set a number of records this week. You're the first wide wide winner of this tournament, tournament history. It's the lowest score in tournament history. What does it feel like to achieve those things when you not just win the tournament, but you know have those things on top of it? Yeah, I mean, just icing on the cake, man. I mean, it, it was a dream week from start to finish, and I couldn't be happier for whatever accolades came with it. I couldn't be happier. All right, we'll take some questions for Lee, and we'll start with Casey. Uh, Lee, you mentioned last night uh, that you didn't think there'd be any stress overnight. Uh, you know, you said it's just golf. Yeah. Um, did that is that kind of how the night played out for you? Was it pretty low key, and do you think that was a big factor in how you played today? Yeah, I mean, I ha I feel like I have a good attitude about golf in general because um, it, it is just a game. I mean, I'm super blessed to be able to play a game for a living, man. I mean, there's a lot of people that would trade to be in my shoes, so. Um, I think I have good perspective, and yeah, last night, me and my wife, we ate dinner here, and then we went to get some ice cream, and I slept like a baby, so yeah, it was a pretty nonchalant night. <laughs> uh, yesterday, you you kind of vowed to be aggressive. You felt like you learned at, Ameri at the Amex that you couldn't yeah. just settle and get some pars. Just, yep. Do you feel like you did that uh, you know, the way you wanted to today? Yeah, no doubt. I mean, I thought I was super aggressive. I mean, anytime you hit two three woods inside 10 feet, you're being pretty aggressive. So uh, that was, uh, those were two of the greatest shots I've ever hit, but uh, which I maybe would have been a little less aggressive with my putter. I ran a couple by there late, but I mean, whatever, it all worked out. Uh, just can you kind of reflect on growing up in a small town in Alabama? I know there were a bunch of them out there to watch you today, yeah. your college coach out there to watch you today. Just kind of what this journey means yeah. and kind of commenting on just all the people back home too as well. Yeah, I'm just really grateful to be from Alabama, especially Ardmore. They announced me on the first tee from Athens, but if anybody asks, I'm from Ardmore, Alabama. So um, I'm super proud to be from there and represent those people. And um, man, I'm sure there is a party going on in North Alabama right now. Did you know your coach was flying in? And who I, had, I, I didn't know anybody was flying in except for my agent, Jeff Stacy. Everybody else was surprised. When did you find out? I looked up on 18 when I was about to putt and saw him. Uh, your, your, co your coach said today you're unflappable like you almost always are, yeah. except maybe during Alabama football games. That's a fact. I, um, man, I, I live and die by the Crimson Tide, especially on the football field. Wish I didn't sometimes. Um, I've gotten better about letting it affect my mood, but I used to uh, really let it affect me. But um, no, I'm, I'm proud to be uh, a Crimson Tide, and I'm uh, proud to have went to the University of Alabama. Talked about two of the greatest shots you ever hit. Uh, can you just take us through through those three woods on six and twelve, and what you were thinking on those positions? And yeah, it just kind of seems like one of those things that happens when you win. Um, I had an absolute, the exact same number both times in the exact same win. So I just had to hold a little three wood, and it was two fifty seven both times, and I just had to get it up in the air and hold it, and I did them pretty well. When you hit the one on twelve, is that kind of when you start to? really let winding enter your mind? No, not really. Um, I mean, Postman's an unbelievable player. He could birdie every hole out there. So, um, yeah, no, I, I I thought I did a really good job this week of, I wouldn't say, I'd say the first time I actually let myself think about winning was after I hit the third shot on 18. That's Other than that, I was just completely focused on what I was doing out there, um, which is probably why I played some nice golf. Probably should try to do that more. 
Lee, your former Alabama teammate Davis Shore got it done for the first time on Did the he? Canadian Tour today. Nice. How cool to share uh, your first win like that? I actually saw this morning on my phone that he had a lead. I didn't. That's awesome. I mean, yeah, what a day for Alabama. Um, D. Shore is a great kid. He was a freshman when I was a senior, and um, you know we treated him like a freshman. But he's a great, he's a great guy and an unbelievable talent. And um, he'll he'll do a lot of good stuff for a long time. I was talking to Savannah. She was saying you're a bit of a local celebrity back at home. Everyone. <laughs> well, I am from like 1,500 people. So, uh, does it mean a little bit more to come from a small town where maybe there aren't these big athletic accomplishments, and, and you can kind of set one? Yeah, no doubt. I mean, yeah, I'm. Again, I'm super proud to be from Ardmore, Alabama. Like, you know, I feel like people could be like, oh, you know, you're from a small place, but no, I I own that, and I am from Ardmore, Alabama, and I love everybody there. I love growing up there, love going to school there. Um, my, my mom and dad still live there. My dad announces ba basketball and football at the high school. So he, he really loves Ardmore. But no, it's, um, I'm super proud to be from there. Lee, I think it was yesterday that we asked you at the end of the round whether you and JT had played together before on the tour. And you said you couldn't recall. You probably did, but you couldn't yeah. recall. Well, it turns out that you guys played together in the last round here last year. Yeah, we actually did, talked about that. Did, I was yeah, going to ask you, did you that. recall yeah. that when you're yeah. out there and, yeah. and mention it? My caddy was actually not feeling great, and last year, and we, uh, yeah, they, and we had a, like a funny moment about him running off and stuff like that. So yeah, and I, we, we honestly forgot I was playing with Postman, but um, yeah, no, he's Postman's a great guy. Could not have thought of a better guy to. Um, play the final round with today super comfortable pairing and man he is he's a talent and he'll win a lot of times on the pga tour Jerry, is it true your fans back in ardmore can cheer you on with one foot in tennessee and one foot in alabama yeah that's a fact um main street runs right through the middle of town and on the north on the north side is tennessee and the south side is alabama and um my step grandfather is actually the mayor of ardmore alabama not tennessee there's two mayors for ardmore one for each side. Oh, is there? Okay. In that, in that scrum, uh, or, or when you were embraced there in the walkway, someone yelled out that there's still a uh, teller opening position at the bank if you need it. Was that ever a, a, a career no, option? No, my, my dad's a banker, and um, and the guy that actually yelled that is a banker also. So he's just giving me a hard time. I was never going to work at the bank. <laughs> there. Oh, go to the back please. Explain the uh, milkshake uh, on the 18th green. Yeah, so Coach Sewell, that's our that's our Alabama thing. Uh, anytime we won a tournament, he would take us to get milkshakes. So that was incredible that he was here and that he brought me a milkshake. I mean, that's you can't even make that up. That's that's super special. Something I'll remember forever. Um, in a different world, maybe you're not competing in this. Uh, event would you have made an appearance at the national sports card show in chicago with being an avid card collector <laughs> i don't know how you got that but yes um i love i love cards um me and my buddy kyle we uh we wheel and deal on the cards and uh, it's super fun something you know to get your mind off everything it's just a super fun hobby that's that's awesome cool. uh, just wondering this win first one on tour yeah. i you said you learned a lot from Amex. Now I'm sure yeah. you learn a bunch from this. Do you feel like this is just a confidence boost to you know keep achieving bigger and better things? Yeah, no, no doubt. Um, I mean, I played some outstanding golf today and all, all week, um, and I the process I went through. I mean, yeah, I'll take I'll take this week forever, and I'll just try to keep replicating this week every time I show up to a tournament. Did it seem like that maybe the par putt on 11 called me after a couple? It seemed like you. Pulled a couple left on 9, 10, 11. Yeah. That seemed to steady you, and then the, the, you hit the, e, the the shot on 12 for Eagle. Yeah, no doubt. Um, yeah, I just maybe got a little quick, and you didn't want to miss those right. And, yeah, yeah, probably. That was a nice putt. Um, I thought the par putt on um, 13 was huge after I kind of gassed that one by. And I, I thought the hardest shot I had all day was the second shot in the 14. That's just such a scary hole. Um, but just to get that one dry was super nice. I'll just uh, I'll wrap it up by saying, how do you plan to celebrate tonight? Huh. Uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, I'm not sure what that entails right now, but we're going to have a lot of fun. Okay. Yep. 
with this win, um, you're going to be going to Maui. I mean, you're hoping to make playoffs. Now you're going to be going to Maui. I mean, yeah. you, you always see at the beginning of the year you play Sony, but what is it going to be to be able to go to Century now? I mean, everything that comes with a win is unbelievable. I mean, so, so all the majors, Century, um, yeah, I'm super excited just to have got this done and um, looking forward to starting the year there. It'll be, it'll be something. Appreciate it. Thank Congratulations once again. Enjoy the evening. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you.